Hello YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to show you my very very inexpensive manual pick and place uh, pen. And uh, you might have seen these on eBay or somewhere else before. Normally they have like a a tube in here and you press on it and then it gets creates a vacuum and let go and uh, it just a uh, fiddly fuddly not right working principle or uh, the way they made it anyhow uh, I just attached one of those quick connectors to this and since I have now my regular vacuum tube which does not uh, get squished when vacuum is applied as you can see the vacuum is running right now so I just attach this in here I really like those quick connectors they're just really easy to do or use I just drilled a 5mm hole in here this is a 6mm connector quick connector so and I cut the thread in here and it just plugs in right in uh, and then I use the uh, first I use the uh, regular uh, band uh, how it's called tape to cover it up and made a hole and then I figured why not to use a shrink tubage and I made this nice hole here with these uh, things here these are normally used for this thing is at least 40 years old guys <laughs> I'm using real old tools uh, this is normally used for making holes in leather belts so you can choose a different hole and uh, I just drove to my garage to pick this up because it wasn't at home as usual tools that I need are always somewhere else and now I just made a hole with this so it's a nice stir uh, not sturdy it's a nice round hole and you just place your finger if you place your finger air gets sucked in only through here and then you can pick and place your parts These are live <laughs> chips. Uh, I use this to burn the bootloader on them. So as you can see, it's really easy. Just put your finger on there. No button to push, no nothing. Uh, uh, I'm lost for words. Nothing special needed and this is really strong to pick up also bigger parts. So uh, you can find those on eBay for like two dollars and I did show you my uh, compressor which is from a refrigerator repurposed you can get them on like scrap yards for really really cheap money I paid like two dollar fifty for mine can you imagine two dollar fifty <laughs> two dollar pen uh, those cost like 99 cents and a little hose and you have your manual pickup pen I would call it okay that was that and I have finally my 3d printer running again and I'm using ABS because I want everything to be sturdy and I made myself some uh, ABS slurpy which is acetone and uh, scrap parts of, of uh, ABS this is made from gray and so you have a lighter color than the black and as you can see here it has a it has a gray shine to it because it picks up from the glass plate and but other than that I will make of course now black slurpy as they call it and uh, and this is really really straight this is by the way my I didn't glue it together yet my up looking camera for my PNP and this is actually a Logitech C as it says here 270 webcam and people use this it has good resolution and uh, once you take it out of the actual housing you can adjust the focus by turning this guy here it's glued with a little dab of uh, like hot glue or something and if you open that up you can turn it and focus it so with this setup you can mount the camera on the surface you don't need to make a big hole and put it underneath and whatnot 
and if you need light you can just put lights around here LED lights which I eventually will do if I need it I don't know yet so this is that and I printed some SMD trays just to try and this also has a now that I'm not using a what's called painters tape on the hot surface it is just glass smooth as glass and I'm using ABS but you have no corner warping whatsoever so it is really really flat which is very nice and uh, this was the first test I did and normally this is like 20 centimeters long I just made it shorter to try it out first and uh, love and behold the stirps did not fit because ABS does shrink so then I made a shorter piece and tried that and this fits nicely it's a little too snug maybe I don't know if you have to pull it from the whole length but I might do it a little uh, bigger so it will work uh, I want to share one experience I made I normally first tried the slurpee on a cold bed and it went nicely and then I was impatient to wait to cool it down I did it on a hot plate and uh, this is the result you're getting the ABS slurpee bubbles up it's not smooth anymore and uh, then you get this uh, awful looking result so if you want the smooth result you can see here it's a day and, and I sanded this down this looked even worse this is the sanded down version so it's a difference between night and day and once I get a black slurpee you won't see the thin uh, gray lines on here because that's gonna be gone and I updated my updated my extruder because the first one was like a cheap plastic gears and stuff and it was just skipping and whatnot so I guess this was it uh, now that I have my 3d printer running I can make those cases for the OLED decade and OLED scope that I designed already and can try them out for fit and finish and then we'll go from there it's funny how the inner surface or actually the top surface looks nicer on the bad slurpy job than on this one with the nice front and I did not change any settings it's the same part same setting same speed same everything so I don't know why there is this much of a difference if anybody has a clue do let me know I think it has something to do with the re retraction of the PLA but how come this is nicer than this and I did not change any setting I just printed that and after getting this awful result I just printed this after cooling down the bed so I don't know but I'm glad I'm using ABS everybody is uh, or the most people are using PLA because it's easier to print but I just want these things to be more stable more sturdy I will put the link for this here down in the description uh, this is the open version there's I did the open version first because I wanted to save on time there is also a closed version where the sides are closed which actually will be better so there will be no dust or anything getting in there and uh, on a PNP you don't need the, uh, the microphone so I might eliminate that and uh, we'll see how that goes anyhow this was just a short update for anybody who is interested in 3d printing I'm sure there are other people that know way more than I do anyhow my famous word uh, this was it and uh, this was my pen I, I really like this of course I'm still building my PNP machine this is just for the uh, 328 at megas that I burn the boot loader manually by hand I have a setup with my Arduino and my own PCB 
it just attached on the thing but it's basically my first Oladino PCB that I'm using for burning the bootloader I just soldered the the caps and the uh, crystal on here and have attached it to my Arduino with wires and then I just I can show you just pick up the 328 place it on here hold it with my fingers or oh, actually hold it with my thumb like this click upload and boom I got the bootloader uploaded and on the PCB I'm doing I have done at least 300 chips and uh, the pads on here still did not wear out so it's still good to go I was amazed by that so this is actually my bootloader board but I will make eventually a standalone version with those uh, quick uh, attach detach do I have it here somewhere with these guys here so I don't have have to hold it with my thumb and can just use this to upload the bootloader make a room on too close to the camera so this will eventually be my bootloader for the Atmega I'm not using ISP I'm saving those pins and the space on my PCB this one is not cramped at all but as you might know my other PCB there is no room for any additional pins on here this is fully this is done this has like the lipo charging and micro SD card and RTC module and switch and micro USB both flat and the vertical standing up and the OLED display and whatnot and the navigation switch of course anyhow this was it uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions uh, please do leave them down in the comments thanks for watching